Hello, I'm Rachel Langley. I'm one of the textile conservators at the studio and we're currently working on this 17th century tapestry which has had a previous adhesive treatment in the 1950s. This adhesive treatment was starting to fail so we need to treat the tapestry, give it a stitched support and in order to do that we need to first remove this 1950s adhesive treatment. So then I would put those just marking off the area that I'm going to treat next. Okay. And those stop the glue leaching out into the bits of tapestry that I've cleaned. Okay. Okay. Um, because some of the solvents that we've had to use to remove the adhesive have got health and safety implications and we were going to be doing it for a whole day at a time. We've got this equipment with its own air supply so that we don't have to be exposed to any of the solvents. I don't know if you can see, there's just a, a little bit of um, yellow adhesive here. And so the adhesive is being sucked from the bottom, but also pulled up to the top as well. So just leave that to evaporate. So the solvent collects in here, and then we're able to just empty it out. And you can see that it's um, discoloured with the um, adhesive that's dissolved in it. So just pour that into there and then we can take these outside. We've got a large chemical store outside with big drums and when we finish this job we'll get a specialist disposal company to come and take the used solvents away. Right, this is a patch that we've removed from the tapestry. The previous 1950s treatment involved cutting out the weak areas of silk weft and replacing them with tapestry patches, which they coated very thickly in the adhesives. This is um, the shellac adhesive, the resin-based adhesive, and you can see that it's really thick and it makes the tapestry very brittle so we wouldn't be able to carry out any further stitched support that the tapestry requires. This is why we've had to reverse this adhesive treatment. And we, all these pieces that we've removed from the back of the tapestry, we were able to use to test which solvent would be the best to remove the adhesives. We used all these for our tests. And for, dem for demonstrating as well, sort of just showing you know, why we wouldn't use certain types of adhesive treatments. 